We're here at Miller Motorsports Park with uh, NASCAR legendary driver Herschel McGriff. Herschel, great to see you out here at Miller. Uh, what's your first impressions of this racetrack? Well, it's a, it, it almost makes you in awe because uh, I didn't know uh, that I would ever see a facility uh, this great built before my day is done. And uh, so I'm having a good time here. I haven't quite learned the course uh, as well as I want to, but I think when the race gets started, I'll be okay. A lot of things have changed over the years in racing, and certainly technology has been a big part of that. What's the biggest difference today versus the cars when you were in your prime? Well, of course, when I was in my early prime, you know, I drove the family car to the race, raced the car, and then drove it home. Uh, I did that even clear across country back in the early 50s. And, of course, in the, in the late 60s, then we started with trailers, and pretty quick it was the bigger trucks. So it's just changed gradually over the years, but uh, my, what a difference uh, now with all the engineers doing everything. And, uh, I, you know, in my first day, we just drove by the seat of our pants, and that was it. What's your impression of some of the West drivers today versus some of the guys that you competed against back in the uh, 70s and 80s? Well, I think, you know, these young kids, uh, they start in these go-karts when they're five or six years old. By the time they're 18 or 19, I mean, they're real pros. And this is obvious with, uh, with the lineup uh, that's, that's out here. Uh, like this one kid, Mike, is uh, 18 years old. I'm over four times his age, plus, plus a few years. So, you know, I could be his great-granddad. But uh, I think that uh, one feeling I have is that I feel that I help pave the way for these guys, that they've got it like they've got it, and I envy them, and uh, that they can do their thing. You said previously uh, you just wanted to race a car again at 80 years old. Uh, what's it been like getting back in a rig after being out of it for so many years? Well, it's not really easy uh, because, I, you know, in practice I let some of them cars go and then I tried to keep up with them and they go around the corner and pretty quick they were gaining on me and you think, well, what am I doing wrong? So I've got a little adjustment to do, uh, you know, to get uh, to be real competitive. Of all the drivers out there in the NASCAR world today, who do you most like to watch race on the racetrack? Well, now, if you talk Sprint Cup, I, uh, there's, there's just a lot of good ones. I think, uh, I think uh, Kyle Busch is uh, one of the best. Kyle, I think, reminds me of me when I was his age, because if I could run a race on Sunday and there was one on Saturday, I'd run in. If there was one on Friday, I'd run in. So uh, uh, he, I, I like him. Uh, he, he's, he's just a real racer. So what have you been doing the last couple of years? You live down in Arizona now. Uh, how do you keep yourself busy? Well, I still work. I uh, take care of a copper mine down in Arizona. And I got a couple of motorcycles and I got a big motor home and we go, go on quite a few trips. And, uh, but nowadays with the technology, our motor home, you know, it's got the computer and, the, and, and all the stuff in it uh, that I can act like. I just use it as my office. So. I'm not far away, although I might be a thousand miles or so. So uh, here at Miller today, got a 41 lap race. Uh, what can we expect uh, and what would be a victory for you today here running at Miller Motorsports Park in the West Series? The top 10. Top 10, I'd be real happy. Fantastic. Thanks for talking, Herschel. You bet.